Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in the today's class, we are going to see how to convert a video into image sequence using DaVinci Resolve. Now first we have to create a new project. So downside, just we have to click on new project and just give a project name. Then we have to click on create. So this is DaVinci Resolve default user interface. Now after this, we have to import our video inside DaVinci Resolve. So downside, we have to click on this media tab. So left side, you will get all your drives here. So just we have to select your drives. So inside this drive, this is our folder. So just we have to open this one. So now just we have to select our video inside this folder. So this is our video, which just I'm going to convert into image sequence. So just simply we have to select and just we have to drag and drop into this media tool here. So just select and just drag and drop here. So now we are getting this dialog box. So this is just saying this, this selected cliff has a different frame rate to the project. Means this video has a different frame rate and project has a different frame rate. So if you will click on this change, so this will change your project frame rate according to this clip here. So first we have to check about actually this clip and also project frame rate. So how we can check? So just press escape and just delete this one here. Now first just I am going to check this video frame rate. So just first we have to switch this thumbnail to details view. So just we can click here. Now just you can see just a little bit move here. So you will get this a clip information so this is our clip and this is clip frame rate which is 23.976 and if you want to check your project frame rate then we have to click on file and just we have to click on this project settings so you will get your project frame rate which is 24 so just cancel this one so now again just we have to select and just drag and drop here and just click on this change so this will change your project frame rate according to this clip frame rate now just we have to click on this change so you will get media inside this media pool here then after this we have to click on this edit now just we have to select this uh, video and just we have to place into this timeline here so now just we have to select and just drag and drop into this timeline here and right side this is our actually output window here and left side this is our source monitor or you can save our viewer so suppose before drag and drop, if you want to check your video, then just select and delete this one. Now just double click here, so this will load into this source monitor here. Now just simply we can play and check. So we can check our sort. Then after this, suppose if you want to place into the timeline, then you can select from here also and just you can drag and drop into this timeline. Then after this, suppose if you want to trim your sort, then simply in this timeline, just you can go to this end point and simply we can trim. So just trim it here. Even from starting you can also trim then after this just we can move and just simply we can export this part only from video to image sequence but suppose before the drag and drop if you want to trim your sort then just select and delete this one so from this source monitor you can also trim so just suppose i want to just start your video from this frame so just we have to click on this in point then after this suppose if you want to till here then we have to click on this out point then after this simply we can drag and drop here so like this before placing your video into this timeline you can also trim using this in and out point or after placing your video into this timeline you can also trim so now suppose if you want to trim this video or if you want to little bit extend then you can select this in point and just you can extend even you can trim so according to a requirement just simply you can select your required portion so this is our actually selected parts here then after this just i am going to convert this video into image sequence so just we have to click on in this deliver tab here and then after this in left side we will get all these render setting you can see so first we have to give a file name so whatever name you want to give your this sort or file then simply you can type then we have to put a dot then after the location, just you have to select your folder where you want to place this image sequence. So just click here and just select your folder. So just create a folder. Just give a name. And after this, we have to select this folder. Then click on this save. So now here just type define over this folder and this is your file name or this sequence name here. So now after this, just we have to select this format. So according to a requirement, just you can select maybe EXR 
jpg or tiff so for just i am going to export in tiff format so just we have to select this one here then resolution and frame rate this will automatically take from your project setting then after this we have to click on this advanced settings so inside this this is pixel aspect ratio which is square and downside if not you can also just check these two options then after this we have to click on this file then this digit in file name so just we have to select this four this is actually just like a padding so just we have to make it four then this each clip start at frame so means just we have to check this one and just we have to define our starting frame means if you will place it here one so this will start your first frame from one and suppose if you want to start maybe from 1001 and then you can type this 1001 so just we have to check this one and just we have to type one because i want to start my image sequence from frame one then finally we have to click on this add to render queue yes you will see this job one then finally we have to click on render all so now you can see this rendering in progress so render is completed now just we have to open our folder and just we have to check our image sequence on desktop so this is our actually main folder then inside this this is our image sequence. so this is your starting frame which is one because inside this just type define the starting frame 1 and padding 4 and this is your padding which is 4 digits so you can also check here and these two options are important inside this file tab here now suppose if you want to export in EXR format then again just go to this video then you can select this EXR then downside just in color square just we can select maybe this SAP1 then gamma just we have to select linear then after this again just we have to check this file settings then finally again we have to add to the render queue then just cancel first this job here because this one i have completed then finally we have to again click on this render all so like this if you want you can also export in exr format finally one more important thing just i am going to explain it here which is about this resolutions because this media frame size or resolution has this 90 to 1080 so if you want to again check just come here inside this media tab and just select your media so whatever media just i am using so this is actually media files so you can see so inside the detail view if you will check so this video has resolutions or frame size 1920 1080 and this is your timeline here so if you will select this timeline so right side you will get this timeline detail which is this 1920 1080 but suppose if you have a this 4k video then how you can export your video into image sequence so now suppose if you want to convert this video into image sequence so for this what do we have to do so first just delete all these media and timeline from this media pool here just delete this one here so now suppose if you want to convert this 4k video into image sequence first we have to set up this project settings then we have to click on file then project settings and just we can select from this list according to your video so just you can click and just you can select frame size or resolutions whichever this one here so according to your video frame size or resolution just you have to select first this timeline resolution then we have to click on save then after this just we can select and drag and drop into this media pool here and just we have to click on this change so this will also change frame rate according to this video whichever 25 and now just we have to click on change so now if you will check again this project settings so now if you will check this timeline resolution which you have according to video and also this frame rate now just we have to click on cancel now finally again we have to click on edit then you can edit your media into this timeline then you can trim then we have to again click on deliver now finally we have to select all these settings whatever just i explain here and resolution this will automatically take from project settings then finally you can render your video so guys till here i have completed about this class so if you like this video Please watch, share, comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So thanks for watching.